If you've shot video with an iPhone 15, you may have noticed that Apple has rolled out a new setting called Log. But what is Log Video and why does it look so shitty? Today I'm gonna to give you a very simple, not technical explanation about what Log Video is and what it's used for. And then I'm gonna show you how you can use it on your iPhone and we're gonna jump into Final Cut Pro and I'm gonna show you a more professional workflow. So if you haven't yet stumbled upon this Log setting, let me show you where it is. In the camera app, this is what the picture looks like. You've probably seen this many times. But if you hit this button where it says log, look what happens. First, you get this pop-up warning about how much shooting time you have, and we'll get back to why this is. But you'll also notice that the picture changes. It becomes super desaturated and very flat with very little contrast. So at first glance, it would appear that log video is way lower quality than regular iPhone video, but that's actually not the case. Here are two nearly identical shots I captured with my iPhone, one in the regular HDR iPhone setting and one in log. Now I airdropped these shots to my Mac so we could take a look at the file size. Even though these clips are at the same length, you can see that the log version is exponentially larger than the regular iPhone video. Log video has far more data in it than your regular iPhone video. That's why you get that alert at the top of the screen when you switch to log about how much shooting time you have left. But all this extra data allows you to do way more in color grading so you can make your iPhone videos look awesome if you know how. Let me show you on my iPhone. So here is that log shot we talked about. I'm going to hit edit and let's hit the adjust button and start playing with this a bit. The first thing I want to do is add contrast to this very uncontrasty shot. So I'm going to hit the contrast button and I'm going to dial up the contrast all the way to 100%. Now let's head over to shadows and deepen the shadows a bit. Now let's find those highlights and brighten up the highlights. We really want to add a lot of contrast to our shot. Now let's head on over to saturation and crank up the saturation a ton. And let's dial up that vibrance as well. Now let's go back to our black point setting. And I'm just gonna dial this down just a hair. On the exposure, we're gonna brighten it up just a little bit. So at this point, we've brought our levels to kind of more of a normal look, but this is where the magic happens. Let's head on over to filters, and I am going to apply the Vivid Warm filter. And just look at how dreamy that shot looks. I think that looks great, I'm going to hit done. And you're probably wondering like, yeah, big deal. I could just apply the Vivid Warm filter to my regular iPhone video, but it doesn't work the same. Let me show you what happens. I'm going to pull up the regular version of that same clip. Let's hit edit. Let's go to filters and apply that same Vivid Warm. It just doesn't have the same effect that our log video gets. The colors just aren't as cinematic or rich looking. So that's how you can color grade your log video on your iPhone. But if you have a professional video editing app like Final Cut Pro, you can do even more with it. I'm gonna show you that right now. If you're curious about Final Cut Pro, I do have a quick start tutorial here on YouTube so you can kind of see what it's all about. I will put a card to that right here. So here's a look at Final Cut Pro. This is our standard iPhone video and right next to it is our log clip. Now in Final Cut Pro, you would color grade your log footage using something called LUTs. I'm not gonna get too much into what LUTs are. It's spelled L-U-T with a lowercase s. It stands for a lookup table. We don't need to get into all of that. Just think of LUTs as like professional Instagram filters. So what Apple has provided to me as a Final Cut Pro editor is what is called a transform LUT. This is basically a shortcut to all of the adjustments you saw me make on my iPhone with the contrast and everything else. All I have to do is head over to this window and select Apple Log. And it doesn't look great yet, but don't worry, just trust the process. The next thing I'm going to do is apply a creative LUT. So think of this as like the fun, vivid, warm filter we applied to our video in the iPhone. So I'm just gonna drag over this custom LUT effect here and I'm going to select this particular LUT. And again, I know it doesn't look like much, don't worry. Now we're going to go into some of the color tools here in Final Cut Pro and polish it up. So in just a few seconds, I was able to get this really pretty color grade on my shot. It makes the video look like it was shot at a different time of day than it was. Like really late in the afternoon, the water looks kind of pinky like from a sunset. And even though it was an overcast day, the shot just looks really pretty and inviting. So compare that to the original iPhone video. Where would you rather be? 
like I said, if you're interested in learning Final Cut Pro, I have that quick start tutorial. I will link to it right here. You guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks to everyone who watches all the way to the end. I'll see you again.